Okay, so this is PD3751-834. Uh, we're going to do a quick walk around to show you the body and the general overall condition of the bus. Um, there's obviously some things I'm going to take care of, like the paint, but we're not going to be doing that today. We're worried more about getting the mechanicals and getting home, but let's do a walk around and have a look at some of the original features that are still intact. Um, the front of the bus overall is reasonably nice. It's actually pretty worn, but it's actually still got the original dog on the front which is kind of nice because it's got the bezel and I can put a reproduction one in there with the original bezel. Um, we're going to have to do some work on the wipers. They're not working and these aren't the original plates. Um, all the belts are here and in good shape. Got a little bit of an indent here, but I think I can get that pulled out pretty easy. Still got the original yellow fogs, which is nice. Um, front bumper's pretty reasonably straight. I like that. I haven't opened up the front area yet, but it looks like uh, Looks like the bus boys lubed those up for me so I can get them open. They might have been into there looking at it, not sure, but it's, it's got the destination sign. Uh, kind of funny, it's a, got a Canadian city on it right now, it's kind of fitting. We've got all the original front lights, they're there and intact. It's got the corner lights, they look like they're in decent shape. It's got the original mirrors, which are extremely hard to find. I hope that we can get them adjusted where I need. Um, Stan's got me a set of turn signal lenses, they're inside. I gotta get those put together. These are still gonna need some rebuilding. As you can see, there's not necessarily in the best condition, but as long as we can get them secured on to get home so we've got some signals to be safe, that would be great. Somebody started stripping the paint. You can see it in various places. There's, there's like three different layers of paint on here. So, and even on the mirrors, somebody's painted the mirrors at some point, but we're, we'll get that all straight and stripped off. And if there's any dents, we'll, like in here, I can see there's a bit of a dent. We'll get those straightened out and get it painted. Um, the siding. Although it's filthy and needs a good wash, the siding's in really good shape on this bus. And, uh, typical, you can still see the, uh, it's hard to see with all the dirt here, but you can kind of see where the dog is. Need to get some front reflectors, they're missing. We've got tires, they're supposed to be here. In fact, those might even be my tires stacked up over there. No, those don't look good. Not those. Um, so it's still got the original air conditioning unit. And actually, this is kind of cool. If, um, yeah, it is open. Uh, if you look right here, there's a sticker that actually tells you the last time the AC was serviced in 99. So the AC system apparently was working when this bus was parked. So that'll be kind of interesting to get into that and see if there's anything we can do with that or if we're just going to take it out. So, original AC unit's in there. It's all, I, I actually, I can open this, it's not too bad to open. It's all still there and complete. Uh, it does have one hole here, there's a propane heater they put to heat the back of the bus, so I'm going to be looking at getting some siding from Stan to fill that in. Uh, it's got a generator in here. Not sure if I'm going to use that or take it out. We'll figure that out when we get home. Two strips of siding. We've got to get him. Stan, he's got plenty of these that I can get from him. Still got the uh, original oval style rear bezels for the tail lights which are nice because I can hopefully get this metal worked out and get it straightened and get some get some new ones get some replacement ones in there that'd be really nice to have close this up so we can have a look still got the original license plate holder it has most of the pieces of the sign so I know where to get this piece and I can get these reproduced and we'll put that all together with new rubber. We'll get the drum painted up nice before we put it together, but uh, that'll be really nice to get the dog all back together. The, uh, the engine doors are in pretty decent shape. This one here has got, this one here's got a few dents, but let's get that fixed up. That's not a big deal. The, uh, Rear Michigan lights, it's missing two, but uh, Stan has two he's found for me with the trim rings, so we're going to put those on, maybe not 
for the trip home, but uh, we'll do that. The rear window, we're going to change that for the drive home. I don't want to drive it home looking like that. Um, we've got a window here and a rubber. We'll get that changed. Uh, I need a few windows here and there, obviously. Um, we're probably going to end up doing them all. This one's cracked, that one's cracked, this one's cracked, that one's cracked. One down there is cracked. So we'll get some glass made up. Uh, you can see where it had a decal here at some point. It says Tigers. I don't know if that was some kind of a bus company or a team name or something, but um, it's kind of neat. You can still see, actually if we look carefully, you might be able to see the name of the tour company. I can't quite read it. Owner and operator. Looks like there's multiple versions of lettering there, so I can't tell what it said. But overall, it's a pretty straight bus. The siding's in pretty good condition. Um, there's no big significant holes cutting it anywhere. There's just the one hole on the other side where the heater was, and there's one little roof vent above the bathroom. Uh, the step is here, and the step works. It's actually not even it's that stiff considering it hasn't been leaked in 20 years. So that's great that that works. That's kind of nice. And we'll go inside and have a quick look inside. Still got the original pinch guard here, which is kind of cool. And uh, the original door plate there. Uh, it's got a lot of the original features in the driver's area here. So it's still got the Greyhound dog on the dash. Um, it still has all the original gauges, although somebody's added some extra ones here. Um, I'm going to guess that's probably to do with the fact it was converted from a positive ground to a negative ground. And I'm going to say the oil pressure and temp sender probably don't work properly because that was changed. So uh, original driver's seat. Um, Still got the modesty panel. Got more seats than I need. We gotta take some of those out. It's got most of the luggage racks. With the exception of the side here where they, they cut it out to put in a washroom. So it's got a washroom and a shower here. Um, a lot of the roof panels have been damaged. This one here is damaged. The two at the back there have been damaged. Uh, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that. I like that it's got all the original. Are these chrome or stainless? I think they're chrome. Might be stainless, but it's got all the original uh, roof strips. So whatever I do with the roof, if I replace the panels or if I can refurbish what's here or replace the few that are damaged, I'm going to keep these and put these back in because these are pretty classic and I like to just add to the overall look of the bus, which is great. And uh, so we got luggage bins all the way to the back and around the back. We got some of Sage's spare parts here, which is kind of neat. So we got lots of seats, but not a lot of seat bases. They took the original seat bases out. In case anybody's wondering, this is what they look like. So there's, there, there's, so each row of seat, I think they went go like that. So you'd have a base, and then they hook into the wall. So you need two of these for every row of seats, and well, I've only got a pair. So that pair belongs to Sage. Um, so emergency exit. We've we've got a lot of the original upholstery even on this bus. So, and. Uh, Okay, oh, that stuff's in the way. If we flip a seat forward, some of the original armrests are still are still attached to the wall, even. So that's kind of cool. Um, oh, actually, you know what we can do in this video is let's go up to the driver's area because it's got that roller shade that we've never tried to open. Stan said it's still there. And uh, let's see what happens with it. Here it is, tucked in here behind. The spring still works. That's kind of neat. Oh my gosh. Oh, the spring needs a little bit of work. Look at that. That is cool. still works and goes back into its original spot. That is pretty neat. I don't know if I've actually seen one of those on one of these buses still. Looks like that was a pull for uh, getting off your stop. Um, still got, oh, some of the blinds it still has, they don't work anymore. They're all jammed up, but it's still got some of the original. Oh, that one actually seems to work. I wonder if we can resurrect some of these and get them cleaned up and working. But that's kind of neat. That's got those. So. It's got a lot of the original features. Um, the lights are there. I don't know what that piece is from. 
some trim piece somewhere. I'm sure it's important. We'll figure that out. And these seats are incredibly comfortable. I, I could see myself sitting in these seats for a, a six hour bus ride. They're actually pretty nice. I think they're nicer than the Eurovan. Well, there you have it, folks. This is uh, number three, four, and we're going to get her back on the road and get her back to Canada in a couple of days, hopefully.